Basically, I just did one side of my face so you guys can see how I'm going to do this side of my face. Um, a studio primer. I used MAC. You can use any primer that you want that um, is lighter than your skin tone. And you're just going to go right over your eye like this. Make sure you get in the corners so that it gets kind of dark in there. And then just blend it out. Also, Underneath your eye, you do the little triangle shape with the point facing down like this. And if you have like any redness, like I have a little redness here, you can go ahead and use some of that, just the rest of whatever's on your finger to just smooth out that and get the rest of the product off your finger. So for this, um look here I had to kind of build it up a little bit so I started with this brown color and I basically just went in the crease with that color kind of just like that and this color it's kind of like a gold a light goldish color I know all the people aren't gonna have like this same eyeshadows that I do but it's kind of like this gold light color and it's kind of shimmery and I just went ahead and put that over my eyelid then I took a black dark black color and went back in that crease sorry I know I make funny faces when I'm doing my makeup um, in the crease and then kind of pulled it out a little bit to the upper part of my eye just to try to like smoke it out a little bit and don't get too far in to um, I would stop about here with the with your crease for the dark colors so right now it should look something like this and then just go ahead, I hate reusing, I mean I hate um, having to use a new brush every time so I just clean mine off with the damp washcloth that I use for um, makeup, it's like designated makeup washcloth because it gets awfully dirty. <laughs> so I went ahead and I took this gray, light grayish color and I put it on the crease a little bit over where the black you could see the black and just smudge it and smoke it out and if it's not perfect that's okay you could use your finger to go back then I'm taking this red pinkish color and I'm feeling where my brow bone is and I'm just lightly rubbing it over the actual bone like you can feel that in your uh, on your eye then I'm taking this shimmery color and putting it um, on the highlight right below like the whole eyebrow go ahead and put that light color then I'm going back with the black eyeshadow and going and underneath my eye halfway then you're gonna take a black eyeliner this is just easier for me to use this brush and go ahead and apply your eyeliner any way that you like I like to do it this way for this look then I'm taking um, a color that's actually lighter than my actual hair color because I don't like dark eyebrows. Um, they, ma they make my face look weird. And I'm just filling in my eyebrows um, with a color that's lighter than my, than my hair color. Now I'm going to line my waterline on the bottom lid and the top lid and I'm using MAC um, Smolder. Their coal pencils are amazing, I love them. Um, now it's time for the eyelashes. Go ahead and take your eyelash out and um, 
put some glue on it. I, I put way more glue than people say to, and especially towards the ends, because I don't want those suckers falling off my eyes. That would be really embarrassing. <laughs> so go ahead and put it on. Um, I like to put it on where I'm going to put my eye and then take it off. You can kind of see there and then I wait a little bit so it's tacky on both my eye and the eyelash and it's so much easier to apply this way. Just make sure that you push down especially in the corners you really don't want those coming off. That would not be good. <laughs> make sure it's on there nice and good. Then I'm taking my um, Benetent by Benefit this stuff is awesome. It smells like roses and it's kind of just stains your lips and it's not like sticky. It just feels like your natural lips and it also looks like your natural lip color. Minus on my lips are really chapped so you can see it's way redder on the inside but it shouldn't do that on yours. Then let that dry. Go ahead and take your concealer and now cover up any um, blemishes or redness or freckles on your face like I'm doing here. I always do like concealer and powder foundation on my face last after I do my eye makeup because that way if you get shadow that falls down or um, it just makes a mess and it's easier for, for me to do it after that. Make sure to get around your nose, all the places that get pretty red. Now go ahead and take your um, powder or foundation. I'm using this MAC pressed powder and putting it on my brush and just applying it all over my face pretty lightly so it doesn't look too caked on. Uh, really all I used was concealer and then this powder. I like to squeeze my brush together like that to go like underneath my eyes and in places that the brush is too big to go so I don't have to use a second brush I'm super lazy like that but it works pretty good for me so just get all those places with powder that you want to cover up make sure you get well into your hairline over by your ears your face and your neck so there's no lines nobody wants lines now go ahead and take your bronzer fill in the hollows of your cheeks If it's easier, you can make your fish face and then go up towards the hairline and around the top. I always like to get some on my jawline. I go around my whole chin and jawline. It just kind of gives you that definition and makes it look like you're tanner than you already are. I like to go over my nose like that. I really feel like it makes you look tanner when you go over your nose like I just did. I'll probably do it again. Yep, right there. <laughs> um, it's basically where the sun would naturally hit you. Then I'm mixing a bronzy and um, light pink color just to go over the uh, apples of my cheeks. And then I'll go ahead and put that on my nose, my chin, my foreheads where the sun would hit. And it kind of just makes you glow and look pretty. Then I'm using this like Mocha Prestige pencil. It's um, a lip liner. It's like some cheap lip liner, but it works amazing. My lips are uneven. Um, they've always been like that since I was little. I can never get them even, so don't mind my crooked lips. Um, and just line it in and then use your finger to um, fix that out. I love coconut oil. I use it for everything. I'm using it right now as my gloss and it, it just smells so good. It looks amazing. It's cheap and you can eat it. <laughs> Yum. Now I'm just taking this light shimmery color and I'm putting it in between um, in the center of my lips and then rubbing that in and it kind of just makes your lips look bigger. And then you get your hair down, let your hair down, girl, and you are good to go. You are sexified. This is where I filmed this video. And here's my messy house. Here are some of my Halloween decorations. I'm obsessed with Halloween. So I've been, I don't 
I'm not really decorating the yard this year because we don't live in the best neighborhood, but I decided to pull out some of my stuff and decorate inside. And right now, I'll give you a little sneak peek of my paper mache pumpkins I'm making. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a tutorial on those if you guys want to see it. They're not done yet, though. And that's it.